Hi, this is Balaji Chopraapu. Welcome to the Selenium Part Two tutorial. For any comments or suggestions on this tutorial, please email me at balaji dot chopraapu at gmail dot com. The agenda of this tutorial is we are planning to go in depth of Selenium. So, using Selenium, how can you record a test cases, export them as an HTML? or java java is the preferred language which we are using uh, and run the test cases using test ng toolkit so let's go into the prerequisite area the prerequisites that you need to have in your system uh, to run the selenium test cases uh, are you need to have eclipse ide Sun JDK 1.6 or above. You need to have test ng5. Test ng is the one of the good unit testing framework toolkit uh, which we use to run the Selenium test cases. We need to have a Eclipse test ng plugin and uh, hope you should watch my first video to better understand the Selenium architecture uh, and how it is helpful. Let us go to the Eclipse IDE and I am going to show you what are the plugins that you need to have to run the test ng and selenium as well. So you can see in the project explorer here I have two applications one is my site it's a simple web application uh, which has a welcome page on clicking in a login link where user will be navigated to the login page and all the actions this is a small website which is deployed under the tomcat and i have another java application which is selenium part 2 uh, which run the test cases uh, as i mentioned which runs the uh, selenium test cases using test ng the main thing which you need to have or you need to have a test ng dot jar and you need to have a test ng helper dot jar and uh, you need to have a selenium client driver so these are the three jar libraries which you need to have and also you need to have a test ng plugin uh, which you can get it from the site uh, bust.com slash eclipse which is a test ng plugin uh, which will help you to easily run the test cases so these are the uh, prerequisites which you need to have to run the selenium test cases so now let's go back to the scenario now I'm going to show you a small web application uh, which I'm going to, which is a very simple application which I built uh, to explain you how to record and play the test cases so I have a website which is hosted in my Tomcat on port 8080 clicking on HTTP localhost 8080 my site leads to the login home screen of my website here you can see welcome selenium data clicking here to login you can log into the website so our simple our initial first test case is clicking on the url should lead us to the welcome page and uh, we need to identify all the three text elements present in the web page or not so this is a simple test case which we are going to automate using selenium so uh, typing the home page url should lead welcome page sorry welcome page url should lead us to the welcome page and the three text elements should be present so this is the first test case which i am going to automate now let us automate whatever the steps which i have done earlier using selenium ide so as i mentioned selenium ide is as an firefox plugin which you need to install from the firefox site so click on the selenium id where you can see the id comes up now let us create a new test case i'll call the test case as 
welcome page so what we are trying to automate is a welcome page so i call it as a welcome page in the there is a record button where you can click to record what are the events that we are manually doing so that we can play back all the recorded events so click to record now you can see the selenium id is recording all the events that are happening in the web browser now i typed the url of my website and click enter and i can see my website home page is served now my goal is to verify whether all the three elements are served are available in the welcome page of my website or not so right click and you can see an action which is going to verify this the text welcome to selenium tutorial is available or not so when so i'm going to test the welcome then i going to, to test whether the login link was available or not and i am going to test whether the footer text is available or not so so the my goal is to see the welcome page and verify the three text elements present or not now go to selenium id and click on stop recording you can you can see it in selenium every every action what we perform on the website is a command so uh here you it is saying that open the site and uh, verify the three types that are present or not so we will call each independent step as a test case so we are going to open the website opening the website is a test case after that verifying the welcome and uh, the rest of the actions are a test cases so we call all the the four test cases into one test suit so now let me run the test cases which i recorded or my welcome page test suit on the browser so i am opening the browser i go to selenium id and i am running my first test case open the site so here you can see my site got opened this is fine and it says the runs are success then i am going to see whether welcome to selenium text is available or not if you are observing very clearly you can see the log for all the commands are appearing here so this is for playing the entire test suit this is for playing one by one test case let me play the complete test suit and verify it so here i can say there are zero failures and my entire test suit run very well let me manually tweak few things and verify so i am saying after the home page is served i am going to search for the string welcome selenium tutorial 2 is available or not and let me run this step so here it shows that the step got failed so this is a way you can record the test case using selenium ide and playback but our goal is to make a complete test suit using java so you can in you can format the html you can see the entire test suit consists of several test cases which is formatted in terms of tables open my site verify the element and so in selenium the base html format will store all your test suit in an html um, we have chosen java as our programming language so we will format this html into the test ng java format so here you can see a welcome page test ng test suit now you can see open my site and verify three elements because of simplicity and uh ease of learning okay um, and java is one of the favorite programming language so uh, so we have chosen java as our uh, format here in this tutorial let us run the generated testng java code in the 
eclipse ide so uh, you have seen the selenium ide formatted the test cases into a java code and i am going to run them using the test ng plugin as as you know that okay you need to have a selenium rc server uh, which to run your test cases so the first important thing which you need to do is start the selenium rc server to execute the test cases to start the selenium rc server you can run the command java iphone jar selenium server dot jar so this this executes the selenium server the selenium server started now so right click on the eclipse id and say it as run as test ng test and here you can see the test ng is executing all the selenium commands where the selenium java driver is going to take that commands and execute over the selenium rc server so this is a selenium rc server you can observe it is launching the firefox and uh, it run the test cases uh, i'll once again run the test cases you can see because the entire the test should run it in a fraction of seconds where we are unable to see it so you can see the the firefox browser starts up and the test and the it is listening the commands and the commands got executed and it it ran successfully see the 